Hi Coca-Cola collectors, my name's Terry and I'm going to do a short review on the uh, My Coca-Cola Collection logging book. It's available on, on Amazon and you can either click the picture or click the link below which will take you to the Amazon website. Uh, you can take a quick look inside of the book which I'll do that in a second because I'm going to read the description to you first of all. So it's the uh, My Coca-Cola Collection, uh, Collector's Inventory Logging Journal, the perfect book to write details of what you have in your collection. We've designed this inventory logging journal so Coca-Cola collectors can easily document their collections as they grow, gain value and evolve. This is a valuable tool to help you track, uh, to help you keep track of your collection. So looking inside now, this is the front cover first of all, uh, which you can see just here. And um, then if we uh, skip into the first page, you can put who the book belongs to and contact details should you lose the book. Moving on, uh, this is the actual logging section of the book. And there's a, a new page for each one of your items. And so let me zoom in here. And we'll run through the different uh, sections of the log. So first of all, the date. This is obviously the date that you uh, uh, complete the, the page. And the item number, so number one, this is the first one. And then name of the item, which could be, uh, let's say, a, a Coke bottle um, or a Coke refrigerator. Um, then the year of origin. So if you know when the item was made, uh, you can put in here 1963 or whatever. And then if it has a serial number, you can add the serial number. Also the value of the item, uh, what, what you currently think it's worth. And then the condition, obviously good, fair, poor condition, or, or any description you want. Uh, scrolling down, we have the storage location. It's either stored at home or in a storage facility or other year that you purchased the item and the purchase price so how much you paid for it and then whether you've insured the item yes or no and then the policy number if you uh, if you have this if you then go on to sell the item you can come back to the log and put the date that you've sold it and the sold price so you know how much you sold it for and then below of course you can put notes so where you found the item eBay at a swap meet uh, advert whatever um, also the reason you sold the item if you sold it in the you know in the future maybe uh, you found a better version and you you, you duplicated so you you sold the, the older version and then skip on uh, like I say this then takes you to the back of the book with a nice picture of a, a coat refrigerator so there we have it um, if you want to purchase the book you just go to add basket add it to your basket and uh, and it's delivered then in a few days thank you for looking at this and uh, i hope you've enjoyed the uh, the recording